wah. Howdy y'all, hopefully you're doing great today. What was that like awkward like? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah, so to, uh, right now we're gonna talk about some products that did not work for me that I freaking don't like. Of course I have to leave this disclaimer because I'm sure y'all have heard it before, but I just have to say just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it can't work for you. I have a completely different lifestyle like where I live, the climate, my skin. So just because something is on this list and you love it or something doesn't mean that it's total garbage. It just means that it was garbage for me. And there's also the possibility that I used it wrong because I am a human and that totally happens. And just because I have a YouTube channel doesn't mean that I think that I know everything because I definitely don't. That's how you know when someone's getting older, when they know that they don't know everything. <laughs> Did I just age myself on camera? And also just to put this out there too, there are products by some of these companies that I really love. So just because a product doesn't work for me, doesn't mean that I dislike the brand or everything else that they ever make. Um, use your brain. It's just like a couple products that I don't like and why. So <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't like the whole brand. It's just they, they, so they, they, they didn't work. So I had actually like, if we're honest, I had a giant box of items that I just really don't like. And I'm not making this video to put down brands or to like talk trash about certain products. That is not the point of this video. The point of this video for me is to possibly help you make an informed decision about where you sp spend your hard earned money. So maybe an item in this pile you were thinking of getting, but you weren't sure and maybe how the reasons I didn't like it might be the same reasons why you wouldn't like it. Say if you don't like shiny lipstick or you don't like sheer lipstick, those sorts of things are, are what I'm putting in this video to help you make a more informed decision. And if you're here for the trash talk, there's going to be some of that too. So let's get started. I near, I, I took a little, let's, let's, let's be honest. We would have been here for like an hour and a half if I was gonna go through my entire basket. That's right up there. Um, I'm gonna save the rest of that for a little later. So if you wanna see what's in the rest of that basket, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications. YouTube likes to do this thing recently where it doesn't tell you guys when I upload a new video and it only tells like a third of y'all that follow me. Yeah, turn on notifications if you wanna get notified. If you don't, then don't. But uh, yeah, if you wanna see the rest of what's in that basket and the tea on it, then thumbs up so I know that you wanna see it. Okay, my lipstick is going inside my mouth. Yummy! Alrighty, my little humble pile of shit makeup that I don't like. Let's start with a brand we all know and love. Um, this is the e.l.f. Pore Refining Peel Off Mask. I did a video with this and I'll try and link as many of the videos I use these products in below. Ugh. It literally ripped off all of my freaking face hair. So that was painful. It has like a uh, powdered aluminum in it or something like that, which I thought was really just gross. It's glitter and that's what the like aluminum is, I guess. I just didn't think the ingredients sounded good for your skin. And I also just didn't like peeling this off. Like it was painful. Like if you watched this, this video, like you know what I was going through. Do not like this product would never use it again. Next, oh gosh, oh, this video. All right, so this was Barely Sheer Airbrush Cosmetics Spray On Foundation. This looked so freaking bad on my skin. It made my pores look insanely giant. Like, I don't, like, what was I trying to cover up with this? Because all it did was make my pores look as big as the Grand Canyon. So this did not do anything for me other than make me look ratchet and old AF. Okay, this product. This is sad because I do like a lot of their products, um, but this was a really big miss for me. Uh, you can tell how I felt about it in the last video by just taking a look at this. This is the, oh God, it smells. It smells like lipstick from the 90s that was purchased at the dollar store. Do you know that really waxy crayon? It smells like an old crayon that's been wedged deep, deep down inside of a, like a, a booth at a restaurant that's been slobbered on by kids for like five, 10, 10 years. Yeah. So this is the Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshine. There was nothing fierce about this. 
at all. This creased like crazy. It never dried. It was just a hot mess. Like putting this, oh God, no. The memories are coming flooding back. The nightmares, the nightmares are coming back. This, this was just not, mm -mm, no, no. It smells so bad. Like I wish you guys could smell this through the screen. You know what is way better than this by Milani that I'm gonna show you right now that I actually adore? Hang on, hold please. These, I'm about to do a swatching video on these on my Instagram. Look at that, okay. So this is their Hypnotic Lights Holographic Eye Topper. Look how pretty this is, watch this, watch this. Are you ready for that? You weren't ready for that, look how pretty that is. <gasps> it's so pretty! Like, oh, oh, it's green. Oh wait, no, it's purple. Oh wait, it's blue. That's crazy. On camera, on my monitor, it looks green right now, and over here it looks like straight up, like this gorgeous blue iridescent purple. It's freaking so pretty and it comes in all these different things. These dry down. I feel like product development was going for this and they came up with this and then they hated this and then they made this and I hated this and now I have this and I love it. These are bomb.com. These are so rad. Oh, this one. Let's, let's do a little swatch of this one for you too. Oh yeah. Look at that shifty pearly pink gold. It's so beautiful. Love those so much. Love you long time. Hate. Oh my God, I put that in my new bin. I'm like, no, no, this is awful. This is literally going straight in the garbage. Ugh. Next. This was used in the video that I put up before this one on Wednesday. Now this product, it gets a pass because it was only, wait for it, 99 cents. So this is the Aziza Liquid Foundation. I don't know how one could even call this foundation. It does less coverage than a sheer moisturizer. Like there's no words to describe how much this product didn't do what it says. It was pretty much like putting on a clear moisturizer, except I'm assuming since it was only 99 cents, the product inside's probably not that great. How could it be? I mean, 99 cents with the pack, I don't know. So this this pretty much covered zip, nada, nothing on my face and just like smeared around and just like looked awful. Save your 99 cents and don't purchase this product. I, I just, just spent a little bit more, get a foundation that actually is a foundation. Cause this, like I said, I didn't have high hopes for this. It was only 99 cents, but it was worse than I even expected. You should check the link down below, I did a full face of dollar store makeup and some things were surprising. This was surprising in a negative way. Oh, this next product, I really wanted to love this. I love NYX Cosmetics. I love a lot of the products that they make. They did not hit the nail on the head with this one. It was, the, I did a video on this too and I, I'll link it below. This is the NYX Faux Marble Lipstick. So these were marbleized like lipsticks and in theory it looks like really cool and could be really cool. Problem was there is zero pigment, girl, look at that. Like I just, what? I don't know. I don't know about this one, man. This was a serious miss for me. Like I just thinking in my head, I'm, I'm like, I just don't know who tried that out and was like, yeah, that's good. But if it was sold as a, maybe a sheer, moisturizing lipstick, then that would be fine. But it says in the product description that it was like rich pigment payoff and it just was not there. And it was the same across the board with all of the shades. There was only one or two that were like maybe passable as a lipstick. But all of these sadly were just awful. Like the, the pigment, the sh it was, it was not good. Jesus needed to take the wheel on this product development. He left y'all hanging. <sighs> Another product. This is the second time this product, this uh, brand is showing up in this video. And this is the elf concealer. This was so pink. Like, look at that. It's so pink. Like some, some, this might've worked for somebody just for me and my skin tone. This did not work for me. This was ivory, but to me, ivory is like a little bit less pink than this. And like, that's pretty pink and beige, like a pinky, pinky beige for, to be considered an ivory. I just think it's an interesting color. It almost looks like a pink correcting shade. Like I could probably use this to correct like dark circles. Actually, I, I probably could totally use it for that. But as a concealer, I don't really understand how this is being passed off as an e.l.f. 
uh, or an e.l.f. like ivory concealer. It also was really chalky when I put it on and didn't blend out nice. Like it just looked like cake up on my face and like under the eye area, especially as you get older, I really feel that you need like a really nice moisturizing, like full coverage, but still feels thin and looks thin, if that makes sense and buildable. This was just like chalky, gross and like the wrong shade and it was just all bad. And it's not like you can test this when you're buying it at Target or something. So that was what happened to me. I just thought ivory, I was like, oh, that'll be like the palest one you can get. Wrong! So this next product, um, I, I, I purchased hoping that I would have fantastic eyebrows. That didn't happen, no such luck. This is the BU Eyebrow Liner Waterproof. This is a pencil that I got um, on, I know y'all are looking at my nails. I see you, I see you, I know they're bad. I just haven't had time because I've been busy filming videos. So my nails have taken a serious hit. Like, look at those. I even have an event tomorrow and I really need to like figure out how to get these hard gel pieces off my nails because they look like I don't give a shit about nothing. Where was I? This I got from like, I think I, I did um, a cruelty free makeup haul on Target and I used this. And the problem that I had with this, the only issue was that this is too fat to do an eyebrow. Like see those beautiful little hairs in the front that makes my eyebrows look so realistic. You would not be able to do that with this. This is was also like just really soft. So see that like that's like that's as thin as a hair as you're gonna get. And I don't I don't know about you, but that's definitely, that doesn't look like a hair and it ain't never gonna look like a hair. That was the issue with this, too soft, too thick, meh, not very good. We are down to two products and these two products are from the same brand and the same collection. And sadly, I disliked both of them, but I disliked one of them more than the other. First, we'll go with the one that I disliked the least. Um, this is the Pure My Little Pony, the movie palette. Uh, so, when I opened this, I got, oh, sorry, I have like, you know when you like screw up the inside of your nose right here and then it gets like scabby and like feels like you have boogers in your nose and you wanna pick it off, but then it just starts to bleed and then it scabs up again. That's where we're at. That's what's happening in here and that's why I keep fussing with my nose because it's like super uncomfortable. So I opened this up at first and I was like, that's an interesting layout of like shades. Then I used it. I liked this one, I remember. I don't know why anyone would make that shade. Like, I don't know what, like just go mustard. Like that Easter egg yellow is not cute. Like that's, I don't know. That I don't feel like that would look good on very many people. Some of these other ones were okay. When I blended out the purple, there was like literally no pigment at all, hardly. Some of these were okay. Like this was pretty, that was good. I liked this and I liked that. But a lot of these shades were just kind of like interesting together. Like I don't feel like they go great. I thought it was kind of a strange makeup of shades in general. Like when I look at this, like usually when I look at a palette that has a lot of shades, I get like inspired. I'm like, oh, I could do this, oh, I could do this. I just kind of looked at this and I was just kind of like, huh? Like what? And then I tried to use it and then I was even more confused because I was like, okay, some of these are really bad and then some of them are really good. So I was just really confused by this overall and it's just not a palette that I would like ever use. I feel like it would be a palette that someone would use for like purchase for like maybe their kids that like My Little Pony. Um, and growing up with My Little Pony, I feel like this palette just did not do the show justice because of how this product worked out for me. All right, so this last product, like I can I can honestly say that I f***ing hate this product. So this product uh, is, I tried to use this product like four different ways to make it work. I was like, I'm gonna make this work. It looks really pretty and no way that I used it worked. So this is the My Little Pony All-in-One Glow Stick and this came in a few different shades and it looks good in theory. Like when you do that, see how pretty that looks? Ooh, ah. So I tried to use this on my brow bone. It flaked off. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Too much product came off. Like the glitter is too thick in it. The too much product came off onto my eye to blend. And then as soon as I tried to blend it, it started removing my base, which isn't good, <laughs> obviously. And then I tried to use it like up here and here as a highlighter and blend it in. Blending in wasn't an option. It did not melt into the skin nicely. An example of one of these that I really absolutely love, I think I have it right here, is the Too Faced and Candy Johnson glow stick. And this is like a wonderful example of a glow stick that works really well. Like you could see it right there. 
It melts into the skin so lovely. It doesn't remove your, your, your base. This one was just too hard. It moved the base around. And then I tried to use it on the inner corner right here and it started removing all of my makeup. Like literally on the end of this, like was my foundation that had taken off. And I was just like, no, you did not. I just spent so much time on that. I'm going to kill you. So then I tried to use it on the center of the eyelid for like a little pop. Um, I was still trying to give it like a chance and it just started removing my makeup and looked flaky. It was like chunking off and building up product. And it was just not a good look. It needs to melt into the skin. It needs to not remove your makeup. It needs to not be too oily. It's gotta be the perfect amount of creamy, but still like maintaining um, the shine and everything. So this was really a huge miss for me. Like one of the biggest out of this whole pile, but I hated it all, honestly. So that's pretty much it. That's like everything. Well, everything that I decided to pull from that basket. So this video wasn't like 20 hours long. Have you used any of the products that I used in this video? Let me know below what you think about them. If you have, are there any products that you have used in the past or recently that you freaking can't stand? Leave those below. And I think maybe I'll do a video on um, some of those products and try the products that you've hated the most on camera and see if we can't get them to cooperate. And it'll be interesting to see kind of what works for my skin and not somebody else's vice versa. So leave the product below and what you didn't like about it. And then I will make a video about it and I will be sharing everyone's handles who shared the product. So hopefully yours will be in that video. That sounds like fun. I literally just came up with that video idea on the spot. So hopefully it wasn't too like out there. I'm like throwing weird stuff at you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And we will see you in the next video. Did I already say that? Yes, I did. Okay, bye guys. What are you looking at? Hi, little dudes. Want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Ugh. Everybody, say hi to Frankie. Say hi, bud. That's a Frankie. That's a Frankie, you stinky. You got a stinky breath, you little pug. Look at his one tooth. A little gargoyle. You want some dinner? Let's go get some dinner. There's a good boy. Oi. Oh gosh, I almost fell out of the chair.